starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Leave your fortune? It's from Joe Hofstetter. Who? Joe Hofstetter, the dog catcher in Capital City. Remember, he brought all... Oh, the... I certainly do. <laughs> and if he has any idea of bringing another truckload of stray dogs up here, he is sadly mistaken. Oh, no, it's not that. He's got a war dog. A what? A Doberman Pinscher that was in the war, in the Canine Corps. Listen to what he says. This dog is a real beauty. He served overseas and won two medals. The family that owned him moved east before he got out of the rehabilitation center. And now they haven't got a place big enough to take care of him. I thought maybe somebody up your way would like to have him. The answer is no, we wouldn't. Oh, I wasn't thinking of us. Jim Brown said he wanted a good watchdog. Well, that's all right. But don't you get any strange notions. We have all the animals we need. I'm going to ride over and ask Mr. Brown. What about your milk? When I get back. Well, now, don't be too long, Jeff. Remember, you promised to weed the garden for me. Well, I will. I don't know, Jeff. I've been thinking about a dog. But I hear you can't trust those war dogs. Well, that's not true, Mr. Brown. I read all about them in the 4-H magazine. Once they get rehabilitated, they're just like they were before. Doberman's a good watchdog. Five years old, huh? And he must be brave, too, or he wouldn't have gotten two medals. I'll be driving over to Capital City tomorrow morning to pick up some feet. I'll take a look at him. Do you know where the animal shelter is? No, but I'll find it. I'll call Mr. Hofstetter and tell him you're coming. Good enough. Is it okay if I come by tomorrow and see if you got him? Sure thing. Say hello to the folks, now. Huh? I will. Bye. Bye. Hi, Mr. Brown. Hi. Did you get him? Yeah. He got him. Where is he? The old pen inside the other barn. Don't want to run around loose, you know, until he gets to know the place. Can we see him? Sure. Why don't you go let him out while I get some ice for the milk cooler? He isn't dangerous, is he? Dangerous? No, he's as playful as a puppy. Good, good. Of course, uh, I don't know. You got a lot of soft meat on you, Porky. He might figure you could spare a bite or two. Well, he's just kidding. What's his name, Mr. Brown? Yank. Come on, Porky. Are you sure it's all right, Mr. Brown? <laughs> Go on, boy. Hello, Yank. Come here, fella. Friendly? Sure. Come here, Yank. Boy. Don't be afraid. Pet him. It's a good dog. Oh, <laughs> 
took him. Hey, your hand's blazing. Carly, you better go put something on it. I'll close the pen. No, you stay here. But I'm not afraid. I know you're not, but you stay. I'm gonna get this cleaned up. We better get out of here. Call Lassie. There must have been a reason. Where are you going? I want to see something. Jim Brown said to stay away from him. What happened, Yank? You're a good dog, Yank. Yes, you are. I sure wish you could talk so you could tell me. Jeff! Get out of there. He's all right, Mr. Brown. Get out. Come on, Lassie. No, Yank. You stay in. I told you to stay out of there. Don't you listen to anything anybody tells you? He wouldn't hurt me with Lassie around. And anyway, I don't think he's a bad dog. Then why do you attack Mr. Brown? I don't know, but he's not bad. Oh, yeah. You two better go on home. You can't shoot him, Mr. Brown. You can't. All right, all right. I won't shoot him. Now go on. Chef. We'd better go. Yeah. Are you sure it's in the 4-H magazine? Yes, I'm sure. Last year's, I think. What you doing? Hi, Gramps. Hi. Looking for an article. See, Gramps. Do you remember that article I showed you on how they rehabilitate war dogs? It's in the 4-H magazine. Yeah, it seems to me like I do. Do you remember how long ago it was? Well, that's something else again. Oh, a couple of months, I guess. No, it was longer than that. Well, I don't rightly recall. Oh, uh, speaking of war dogs, Lem Purdy just passed by and said Jim Brown was going to put that dog away. Put him away? Yeah, Frank uh, Weaver's was going up there in the morning. Well, it's the best thing, I reckon. Did you hear that, Porky? We gotta find this article. Here it is. It sometimes happens that a war dog, even though completely rehabilitated, may respond to something that was part of his combat training. In other words, if a war dog who has gone through rehabilitation should suddenly attack or become aggressive, look for a reason associated with his previous combat training. See? See what? There's a reason for Yank attacking Jim Brown. Well, sure, he wanted to kill him. Then why didn't he attack us? I don't know, but I'm sure glad he didn't. Jeff, supper in 10 minutes. Wow, I gotta go. Well, wait a minute, Porky. You gotta help me. Help you what? Jeff, did you hear me? Yes, I heard. Porky, we can't let him put Yank away. Well, how are we gonna stop him? You heard your cramp say that Doc Weaver's going out of Jim Brown's in the morning. Shh. I know, but I got a plan. All you gotta do is meet me at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock when? Tomorrow morning. Are you crazy? I should have set the alarm clock earlier. Well, what you got in the bag? Some stuff for Yank to eat. You gonna feed him at 4 o'clock in the morning? Is that what you got me up for? No, I told you, I got a plan. But we gotta go get Yank first. Come on. Wait a minute. I'm not going any place till I find out what I'm going for. Don't you trust me? Well, sure, then but... come on.
careful, Jeff. Come on, Yank. Come on. Just don't be afraid. Here, give me the bag. Look at those teeth. See how friendly he is? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, let's go. Where are we going now? My secret place, the cave. Come on. It doesn't even belong to you. It doesn't make any difference who he belongs to. He's a good dog, and I'm gonna prove it. That's good. Let's go. He's up for dawdling. Jeff? I get it. Hello? Oh, yeah, Jim. Oh, he did, eh? Sit down, eat your cereal. Well, I'll keep an eye open. Yeah, I reckon he would. Bye, Jim. Jim Brown, that war dog you got for him broke loose last night. Figured he'd be heading toward the lake. Jim's gone gunning for him. Jeff, what's the matter? Well, wait, where are you going? I gotta do something. Well, now, just a minute, you haven't even had your breakfast. Well, but I gotta go down to the lake. What for? Bacon's burning. Oh, Jeff, come back here. What's gotten into you? Now, Jeff, what is it? Well, Lassie's down at the lake. She's in a cave with Yank. What are you talking about? Who's Yank? The war dog. I went up and got him early this morning. Why? Because I didn't want them to put him away. There's nothing wrong with him. 
Oh, now, Jeff, he attacked Jim Brown. That means he's still vicious. No, it doesn't. After I got back, I read that article in the magazine again. I think I know why he attacked. All I want is a chance to prove it. If I'm wrong, then they can kill him. See if you can get Jim. If he's home, let me talk to him. Uh, Jenny, George Miller. Bring Jim Brown for me, will you? Jim will be there. Well, I gotta go in and blow out the ladder. Mm -hmm. What's it all about? I just want to try and prove that there was a reason for Yank's attacking. He's in the barn now. Is it okay if I let him out? Well, what do you want to see him do? Take another piece out of me? He won't, Mr. Brown. I know he won't. All right. Let him out. Brown. Here you are. Pet it. Well, pet him. There, you see how friendly he is? I can show you why he attacked. Come here, Yank. Come on. Will you put that coat on, please? It's in the pickup. Let me know when you got the coat on. It's on. When he saw one. You're a smart boy, Jeff. You know, I should have known. My nephew sent me that coat from Korea. Kind of a souvenir. Thanks. <laughs> 